Hello, beautiful people. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, so, Bola Metinibu uh, tells audience at the G20 Investment Summit and uh, compact uh, with the African Conference in Berlin, uh, Germany, that uh, Nigeria is open for business. Anyway, I wanted to listen to the what is whatever he's saying, and I will come and let you know my thoughts uh, based on what he's saying. And yeah. <laughs> So guys, uh, you've heard from uh, Tifnubu, you understand? So me, what I can just see is that all these are grey lies, you understand? Keep on telling investors, maybe he thinks the people are stupid. This is how Buhari gallivanted all over his tenor. Eight years looking for investors, nobody came to invest in Nigeria. He said the investments in Nigeria were running away. You think investors are stupid? Even a Nigerian. Let's assume as in Nigeria, you want to invest in Nigeria, you must you, you, might, you must be the most stupidest person on earth. Forget patriotism, you understand what I'm saying? I'm not discouraging you, but when you sink your money there, that country is so difficult. It's a very difficult place to do business. Has Tinibu improved the ease of doing business? Has Tinibu thought of ways you can see how he will fix electricity or localize it to industrial zones? By now, they should have been creating industrial zone clusters. You know, if you if you go to the read Nigerian um, whatever whatever uh, um, archive, you will see they will tell you they have uh, um, what do they call it industrial zones. Go there now, it's bush, very unplanned place. At least most of them, you understand. By now, those maybe you can localize the electricity there, make sure that electricity there is constant. You understand. That is one way to bring investment or uh, make it a low taxation in those zones and see whether you won't see new industries coming. But that's by the way, insecurity is still prevalent in the country, but not like as much as useless Buhari's type. Um, uh, what do they call it? Electricity is nowhere to be found. The federal roads in the country are bad. So now if you're an investor and you want to do business in Nigeria, how will you move your goods? I'm asking you. Instead of the government should be considering a, what do they call it, mechanized, uh, uh, agri um, what do they call it? Fixing the federal roads and doing railways to um, economic zones they are there chasing shadows you understand I don't know for me it's just a gray lie if you ask me because uh, I can't I'm telling you if I have all the money train away except I want to just do out of patriotism I can't wake up and say I want to invest in uh, Nigeria it, it will be the most uh, stupidest action for anybody to take you understand it's, it's, it's gonna be a very stupid action anyway guys what do you make of this thing anybody is saying Will you invest in Nigeria um, as an investor? You understand? One of the easiest ways to bring investments in Nigeria is the diaspora. But fortunately, many of the diasporans that have money, most of them are not supporting Tinibu. That's just the simple truth. You might look at it like, yes, yeah, there are Tinibu supporters abroad. But most of the uh, diaspora and abroad, they will not support Tinibu. I'm telling you, whether it's Yoruba, I know. Even people, I know people that are not involved in Nigerian politics. They will not. So you're telling people to come and invest in a place that there is no uh, uh, rule of law where the judiciary is doing abracadabra. 
let's assume they have a judicial case. Do you think they will have a chance to win? Anyway, just continue deceiving yourself. That's how this man will chase shadows. Eight years. They will not do anything. If they want to improve Nigeria, they should listen to my previous video. Anyway, guys, what do you make of this whole madness this guy is talking? Do you think uh, any rights investor will come and say he wants to invest in Nigeria with the way the outlook of investment is and the government not even trying to uh, um, do the necessary things? In, fact, in terms of even security, I was thinking by now he would have um, recruited 50 million youths. But instead, into the army, instead, what I'm saying, and he's wasting money on legislators and judiciary. I was thinking by now, the whole place would have been flooded with new set because that's how you can improve security. It's not rocket, that's part of it. Then helicopters, you know, helicopters to move soldiers. The helicopters that can carry 50 soldiers or 100 soldiers at once, you need to buy it. It's very important. You know so that they will move because the roads are bad and even road takes time you know so those are just based one of some of the things they need to do but anyway guys would you invest in nigeria as a nigerian or do you think you will make profit if you invest let me know your thoughts in the comment section